Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome to this new video of the web test automation course with Play in Java. In this video we're going to see how to integrate what we've already done with a report generation library. This library is called Alluro and it's widely used in this field of test automation because it offers many interesting features, a very descriptive report and this library is multilingual. It integrates with different tools and is very easy to use. So, we're going to see how to integrate that library, that framework, to what we currently have. We're going to have to make quite a few changes, so I'm going to show you how we're going to get started. The first thing we're going to do is navigate to this URL called github.com slash allergeontemples slash juni5 java maven. Here we're going to open the pxml file and we're going to see an example of how it's currently structured, right? How this palm is put together. And the idea is that we do exactly the same thing in our palm file, so it's going to change quite a bit from what we've done currently. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this part that says dependency management. We're going to do it in parts. I'm going to copy these two. And I'm going to place myself just below properties for a couple of spaces and I'm going to paste this. So, these bomb is something that is known as the billion material. That's to help us manage the dependency much easier and avoid those compatibility problems that can exist between dependencies. So, we do it for Allure and we do it for JUnit. Ready? Second step, we have. Hey, we're going to put these two dependencies. Notice that I'm in dependencies. I'm going to copy those two dependencies. And here I'm going to do the following. I'm going to place myself in dependencies. I have the one for play right here. I'm simply going to remove the ones I have here. These two, the one that says Juni Jupiter Engine and Platform Runner. P. I'll delete them and paste the two that I copied from there. Ready. So, here they should look like this. You should have three dependencies inside your palm. Now, we are going to make a change in the plugins as well. So, in the plugins here if we can copy, we can copy from here we have video plugins to copy the plugin of the Mensure Fire plugin along with this one from Aspaj Ready. So, notice that I copied these two. I am going to replace the shore fire one. I deleted it there. Here I missed it. You have to do this very carefully. Don't worry though, I am going to leave you a link so that you can access it. I just want to show you what I am doing. Um, but clearly I am going to give you a link where you can directly go and copy this but I am explaining it to you so that what you copy makes sense to you and you know why we put it there. Ready. So now I am going to explain that part to you. Give me a second and we are going to integrate this plugin that is from Allure Maven. This plugin will allow us to run a task with Maven and start a server. Ready. And that Mave compiler plugin. We don't have it here anymore, it's this one, so, we leave that one as is. Ready. Now, these things that are here are variables, we have to define them. The aspect J version and the allure version. So, we go here to properties. I'm going to give a space and I'm going to go up here and I'm going to copy the al version and the suspect ehj version. Ready. Ready. And here I'll click on the M so that it brings those dependencies in E and we can use them. Several things can happen here because it happened to me is that no matter how much I entered this, that is, I put the dependencies in the plugins, it didn't bring them. 
So, in the event that it happens to you, you'll open a console. Hello View Tool Windows. Remember, move to Command Prompt here Command Prompt and you'll run the Command MBM Clean Install Menu in capital letters. That's to force the cache and tell it again how to maybe. Come on, clean and download the dependencies again. Ready, clean the ones that have cache and well, it tries to force the dependencies in case they have any error. And ready, after having done that, let's say, the idea is that it looks like this, without any error, nothing appears in red. Now, let's take a moment to review this part. Let's say that the bomb, what I was telling you, was to handle the whole issue of facilitating the management of dependencies. Let's say, to avoid compatibility problems, which occurred a lot when we used Juni with Adler, that some versions were not compatible. So, with that we avoid that problem. The SHF is the same one that we had used to execute the tests. But here there is what is the aspect J that is used a lot for aspect-oriented programming and it uses Lure a lot for the whole issue. Let's say that it has some tags or some annotations like a description at step and it uses a spetch to make that feature work. Ready. That arm is the integration to make the Maven function with Lure. You will see now that we will be able to execute a command to be able to see the Allure report directly using a Maven task. Ready. And that's it. We can just leave it like that. We already have our tests. I'm going to do the following. I'm going to duplicate this code everywhere. I'm going to leave it as, let's say, everything following the same page object pattern that we did before. Ready. Ready. We have our three outdated ones. And now we simply do it by using the same command env clean test. We will be able to run the tests. There, clearly, a download of pending files will begin the first time and the execution of our tests will begin. That should work transparently. There, the test opens, the first test that is executed. This is the third test that is executed and it ends. Ready. And here we can see that the Allure REST folder is generated. There is a way in which I can change the location where those results are generated. So, we are going to do that. We are going to come to CR, that test and right click on test. I am going to give it a directory and I am going to select this that says here resources. I simply click on it and that's it. Here I am going to create a file called eh. I right click there resources new file. I am going to say properties and here I am going to define the following. I am going to say Aloris. Decedery equal to target, alerg resource. So the idea is that the eh results are generated here inside. I am going to delete that folder moment and we are going to run those tests again. There begins the execution of our tests. I made it fail. I deliberately closed the browser to have a failure. Ready. Now, you are going to come here to the M and you should see a plugin here that I am not actually seeing. And it is the plugin of this plugin here I am telling you, I am showing you. Do you remember the integration plugin with Allure? This one here, this plugin should appear here, but if you notice, it does not appear. I'm going to make a little change here from version 215 to 2152. I'm going to save and I'm going to refresh this again. And notice that now, yes, this plugin appears here and that plugin has some tasks. Add, help, install and we're going to run this one that says Allure Sir. Done. You can either double click here directly or you can type in OK Al 2.
And once you do that, you're going to see that a server is going to start and the report is going to be displayed. So, give it a second while it starts up. And here we can see that the report is generated successfully. There are three tests. This is the home page of the report. I can click here on Navigate Test and I can see the different tests. Done. So far the report doesn't have a lot of information. Ah, uh, in the next video we're going to see how to use Lure to be our report and make it more readable. If you liked this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell because I will be uploading more content related to this tool. See you in the next video. See you soon.